Rogue planets are planets which don't orbit a star directly, either ejected from their planetary system or formed away from the presence of any star. They've only been detected for the last few decades, and in that time just a handful have been found, but that's hopefully about to change. My name's Dara and I'm one of the astronomers at the Royal Observatory Greenwich, and in today's Observatory Online we'll be seeing how NASA's next generation of space observatory might be able to shed some light on just how many of these rogue planets are actually lurking in our galaxy. Rogue planets are notoriously difficult to detect. Without the light of a nearby star to reflect off the planet's surface to make them visible, scientists have had to look for the infrared light or heat radiated by rogue planets in order to determine their presence. But if they've been lost from their star for too long, or they formed on their own, they'd be much cooler and wouldn't be radiating much infrared light at all. Although we've been fortunate enough to detect some rogue planets through the infrared light they emit, these vagabond worlds are essentially invisible. That's where the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope, formerly known as WFIRST, the Wide Field Infrared Survey Telescope, comes in. It's the successor to the Hubble and James Webb Space Telescopes, and named after Dr Nancy Grace Roman for her role in the development and launch of the iconic Hubble Space Telescope. Roman is set to launch in the mid-2020s, and will have a 2.4 metre mirror alike to Hubble, but it will have a field of view a hundred times greater than its predecessor. It will conduct a large microlensing survey. This technique takes advantage of the gravitational lensing effect of the planet. Its gravity will essentially bend the light of a distant star, magnifying it, indicating that it's the detection of a rogue planet passing between us and that distant star. It's the best way to systematically search for rogue planets since they don't shine like stars and most emit too little heat or infrared light for telescopes to see them. Roman will be looking at a very small part of the galaxy, but it will be above the Earth's atmosphere and looking in the opposite direction to the Sun, so it will likely detect hundreds of rogue planets and therefore provide the best estimate of how common these objects are in our galaxy.